Hello, I am Jenna Bradshaw. This is my YouTube channel. Welcome. We talk about health, fitness, and wellness here, all realistic ways to a simple holistic approach to getting healthy and optimizing your health, feeling good, and hitting your goals. So today I wanted to chat about our, and by our, I mean Girls to Queens podcast, which my co-host and I, Erica Suter, have been working on for some time now. And we created our foundation of Girls to Queens. It is the seven gems of mastery. And the seven gems of mastery build on one another as to different aspects of your life and how you can be a victor of your life and how you can lead by example and how you can feel your healthiest, vivacious, and happiest self. So I did write about this in my book, A Survivor's Story, A Holistic Healing Journey Through Cancer. And this is on page 23. So I did also write about this on my Substack. Um, I wrote an article about that. I will put that in the show notes. So if you like to read, you can break it down through that. So with the Seven Gems of Mastery, when Erica and I were creating this, we were thinking, okay, like what is our why? Which I discuss a lot. Um, in my digital courses through holistic human performance and what is going to get you there. And then it leads into your how. So we break it down because it's every aspect of our lives that, which ironically enough, career was not one of them. And we broke down what our experiences were and really what helped us get to the next level in our lives, our careers, our health, um, leisure activity, travel, what we wanted to do. So basically we we were discussing and we really broke it down to these seven gems of mastery and how you be can become a victor of your life. And we obviously coined this because our podcast is named Girls to Queens and we are thinking royalty, so gems. And so that is kind of how we coined the term uh, seven gems of mastery. So, so the first one, it's your purpose. What is your why? So what is your why in terms of what you want to accomplish in your life? What is your why in terms of how you want to help other people, what you want to get, how you want to inspire and get your message across? Like what wakes you up in the morning? What motivates you? Like that is your why. And when you can figure that out, all of these aspects of your life will fall into place. So number two is relationships. The quality of your relationships is the quality of your life. This is a big one because I find that a lot of individuals really neglect relationships and that actually is the foundation to like life, <laughs> um, human connection and being able to be social with others and have long lasting loving relationships with your family and how that dynamic works. And if that's not there, it's really going to pose a huge missing piece, a big piece to the puzzle as to how you're going to get to the next level and really feel healthy and happy. I mean, let's be real. If you like, if you spoke to someone who said they didn't have any friends and they were not close with their family, you're kind of just like, mm, like, why is that? What's wrong with you that you're not close to other people and you don't have relationships and you know a lot of people who are married like why is the divorce rate so high I mean we really have to analyze these things why why is that so that's a really really big one um so number three is nutrition uh we I mean I'm a nutrition coach and this is just I see this all day every day 
when you do not fuel your body properly, you are basically running on fumes and you eventually will break down. It's not a matter of if, it is a matter of when. And especially if you are an athlete and we deal a ton with I mean, I'm a track and field coach. Erica deals with soccer, specifically young girls. And, you know, if you're not fueling your body, how are you going to get on the field, the track, the, the ice rink, you know, whatever the court, how are you going to perform? You're really going, your, your performance is going to suffer. You know, it, food is a necessity to life. (laughs) It is an absolute necessity to life. And that's, not only going to help your performance, but you're going to learn how, you know, how to sustain your living, you know, such as cooking, like, how are you going to survive if you don't know those key components to life? And um, also our general populations, uh, general population clients. So those who are really just trying to get fit and healthy for whatever their goals is, goals are, whether that be, you know, losing weight for your wedding or increasing your muscle mass and getting healthy, or you're battling illness and disease, like food is an absolute component and piece to the puzzle. So if you're not honing in on that, you're really neglecting your brain, your body. And There's a ton of research on the micronutrients and how that plays a huge role in mental health. And if you're neglecting those micronutrients, let's just say, so those micronutrients would be uh, vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. And if those aren't key components in your diet, it's going to affect you negatively in a physical, mental, or emotional way. So that is super important. And again, I discuss this heavily in my courses on holistic human performance. Number four, physical health. I mean, this is what I do for a living. (laughs) So again, um, training and movement is key. Um, I speak about this big uh, in one of my chapters in my book. This helps us battle disease, illness, and injury. If you are not strong enough to compete on the field, your risk of injury is higher. If you don't have enough muscle mass, then your risk for disease and illness is much higher. If you are sedentary, that means you are creating stagnation in your body. And when you do not have flow, then again, that increases your risk for disease, illness, and injury. So movement is super important. And again, there are so many ways to move. Um, You know, you can walk, you can run, you can sprint, you can lift, you can paddleboard, you can kayak, you can hike. There's so you can meditate, yoga, flow. There's so many different ways to movement, but it should be an absolute key component into how you live your life every single day. People who are just starting out with their fitness journey, it is going to be challenging in the beginning. The start is always the hardest part, but that's like anything in life. The start is always going to be the most challenging. But once you start and you feel really good, you're going to be like, oh, I can't stop now. You're going to feel the absolute difference when you stop. So physical health is obviously one of our gems that we have created. And then number five is emotional energy and mental health. So this has to do with energy, mood, and motivation and breaking down. So basically our energy and our chakra systems, which I spoke about on one of my other YouTube videos. And then the other courses that I have, um, on my website, energy management is a huge component to how you're going to live your life. And then if you're just like giving, giving, giving out of basically an empty cup, I mean, you are going to suffer in a physical, emotional, or mental way. And each one of those are connected. And so again, it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when, and then also that negatively impacts your relationships with other people. You're going to feel resentment. You're going to feel anger. You're going to feel frustration. You might feel sad, depressed, anxiety. And again, these are huge components of our chakra systems and how they are 
interconnected and woven into our organs, our physiology, and how our health is portrayed on a day-to-day -day basis. And so, um, again, that affects your emotional health, your mental health, and your physical health. So energy management is key. Um, and, you know, there's really no if, ands, or buts. It's just a matter of really working on it and figuring out what's going to be your best way to go about it. And then number six, we have sleep recovery and stress management. So when you sleep, that is your body's way to rejuvenate and rest and reset for the next day. And if you are neglecting sleep, then like college students do, then it's going to youth goes a long way. However, you have to look at the way you want to live your life 10 years, 20 years, 30 years down the road, I would look at your parents and I would see, okay, how are they living their life? Do I want to end up like them? And how can I change that in order to not wind up like that? So sleep is imperative. There's a ton of research on it and the effects that it has on our health um, and our specifically our brain health. And you know, it's a way for your organs to reset. It's a way for it. It's a cellular level of rest and recovery and rejuvenation. And I, I mean, everybody's heard the term beauty sleep, like that's why it's called beauty sleep. And personally for me, if I'm neglecting sleep, I'm going to be super cranky the next day. And honestly, like nobody wants to deal with me, to be honest. So that's another thing. And it, that affects your energy management and your mood and your motivation to get things done. And then the last one is leisure, which would be travel, hobbies, fun, and, you know, passions and being playful. And if those are not a component of your life, then you're going to be living in a mindset of lack and a negative mindset. And you're going to think, okay, well, why can't I have that? Why can't I do this? Why am I not, why am I not having fun? You have to remember that you are in charge of your life. And if you are not taking ownership of that, then that is where things can go awry and negative components of health can also arise. This has also everything to do with mood, motivation, mental health, physical health, emotional health. And also when you, we all talk about the mind body connection, but also mind body and soul connection and your, those hobbies and those playful and fun, passionate, um, aspects of life. That's like your soul's purpose. And again, that literally goes back to the first gem, which is, you know, your purpose and what is your why. And so each of these stack on each other and are completely interconnected and why, you know, we thought it was super, super important to teach others because this is going to basically break down how you're going to be a victor of your life and take personal responsibility. And again, these things are not going to happen overnight, but if you focus on one aspect, it will trickle down to the next aspect and the next one and the next one and the next one, and you will feel a million times better. You will feel more motivated, more energy. Per you're going to be doing purpose purposeful work. And that's really the goal at the end of the day. And that also helps the greater collective to accomplish what needs to be accomplished. And we also speak about in one of our episodes where it's like this great awakening and this plays a huge component into the great awakening on a collective level so that everyone can benefit from this. And so that's pretty much that. And um, again, we speak about the seven gems on our podcast, Girls to Queens. Also, I wrote about this in my book, A Survivor Story. I will put everything in the show notes. So don't forget to, you know, like and share and subscribe if you haven't, if you find this work helpful. And until next time.